precious friends precious family how are you doing today god loves you jesus loves you i love you i thank and praise god for this wonderful opportunity to share god's word with you even today our god is a good god in the book of matthew chapter 7 verse 15 through 21 god says like this jesus says beware of false prophets which come to you in sheep's clothing but inwardly they are ravening wolves ye shall know them by their fruits do men gather grapes of thorns or figs of thistles even so every good tree bringeth forth good fruit but a corrupt tree bringeth forth evil fruit a good tree cannot bring forth evil fruit neither can a corrupt tree bring forth good fruit every tree that bringeth not forth good fruit is hewn down and cast into the fire wherefore by their fruits ye shall know them not every one that saith unto me lord lord shall enter into the kingdom of heaven but he that doeth the will of my father which is in heaven you got it my brother my sister my friend wake up there are false prophets among us who are teaching false doctrines who are misleading you who are doing it of their own see there are prophets there are teachers who are self sent who are sent by men who are sent by devil but who are not sent by god wake up know the difference many are there they are self sent sent by men sent by devil and not by god wake up wake up in the book of second peter chapter 2 verse 1 through 9 reads like this god says there were false prophets also among the people even as there shall be false teachers among you who privately shall bring in damnable heresies even denying the lord that bought them and bring upon themselves swift destruction and many shall follow their pernicious ways by reason of when the way of truth shall be evil spoken of and through covetousness shall they with feigned words make mercantize of you whose judgment now of a long time lingering not and their damnation slumbereth not if god spared not the angels that sinned but cast them down to hell and delivered them unto chains of darkness to be reserved unto judgment and spared not the whole world but saved noah the eighth person a, a preacher of righteousness bringing in flood upon the world of ungodly and turning the cities of Sodom and Gomorrah into ashes condemned them with an overthrow making them an ensample unto those that after should live ungodly and delivered just load vexed with the filthy conversation of the wicked for that righteous man dwelling among them in seeing and hearing vexed his righteous soul from day to day with their unlawful deeds the lord knoweth how to deliver the godly out of temptations and to rescue the unjust unto the day of judgment to be punished that's what we read from second peter chapter 2 1 through 9 my brother my sister my friend wake up wake up wake up we are in the last days for there are such a lot of false prophets false teachers among us they are misleading the church they are misleading the poor people around us who are not familiar with the bible wake up wake up wake up they are not god sent they are self sent 
they are men sent they are devil sent and they are not god sent wake up god says that by their fruits you will know them see these folks you know they won't have any burden for dying souls watch them they won't have any 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 care for the dying souls around us they won't have any burden for the dying souls watch for it watch for it and they would be selfish they would be greedy they would be money minded you got it selfish people greedy people money minded people they will try to project themselves more than god they may even say once i reach there you see what's going to happen once i come there you see what's going to happen if i say that will happen if i come there these things can take place that and all they will keep on projecting themselves they will show you video clips they will show you they will tell you what happened when they went to such and such places how god did that and they will make god small and they will make themselves bigger and larger than god they will focus on rich people rich people for big offerings for big gifts etc etc they will focus on them they will scare them they will dominate them they will enslave them until they can get something from them indefinitely wake up my friend wake up family god is speaking to you and you can always find them they may not be simple they may not be humble and they may not be holy wake up watch for it watch for it and they will always preach of their own not from the bible they will just take a word word from the bible and they will just just show it to you in some cases in some cases even that is not there just motivational talks encouraging talks comforting talks so that you will keep on listening to them listening to them listening to them. eventually you will be fooled wake up wake up wake up my brother my sister there are such a lot of false prophets false teachers actively misleading people destroying the church and doing such a lot of damage to the church and to the kingdom of god my brother my sister my friend protect yourself be safe the only way how you can do is this you should be thorough with the word you remember in hosea chapter 4 verse 6 says that god says my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge you got it knowledge is life god says it you must know what the bible says you have time to read so many things in this world you have time to listen to so many things in this world my brother my sister my friend my family once dead you don't need bible you don't need it anymore when you are living love your bible read your bible that is god's love letter to you to me to everyone to all mankind that is a book given by god set of rules instructions it is nothing but wisdom it is nothing but direction it is nothing but instruction we all need it until we live on earth we need it and thereafter it will take care of us you got it it will lead you take you to heaven if you believe it and obey it simple without even knowing how can you believe it how can you obey it that is the reason every where the devil is actively destroying the church destroying the individuals every where every where by misleading information by twisting the word wake up wake up wake up that's the reason god says 
In 1 Peter chapter 5 verse 8, he says that, Beware. And he says that, Be vigilant. God says that. And he says that, Be sober. Be vigilant. Why? The devil is walking around like a roaring lion looking for whom he can devour, whom he can swallow. Wake up. My brother, my sister, my friend, know the Bible. Read your Bible. Know it. Know what it says. Believe it. Obey it for your own good. For your own good. Be not misled. Be not misinformed. Be not destroyed. Wake up. God loves you. Jesus loves you. I love you. I give you two Bible reference for that. Please read Matthew chapter 7, 15 to 21. And then 2 Peter chapter 2, 1 through 9. God bless you, my brother, my sister, my friend. God loves you. Jesus loves you. I love you. Until we meet again, may God continue to be with you as well. Amen. Hallelujah.